My name is Julia Beamsdorfer. Um, I grew up in a suburb of Philadelphia called Media, Pennsylvania. Um, and I just finished up my third year of medical school at the University of Pennsylvania. My name is Jing Ren. I'm from New York City. I am a medical student at Penn. I'm Anuba Agarwal, and I just finished fourth year of uh, med school at Stanford University School of Medicine. I'm originally from Chapel Hill, just down the street from Duke. After my first year of medical school, I spent two months in Botswana um, conducting global health research on um, cervical cancer screening in HIV positive women, and that really cemented my interest in global health um, and made me want to do a more substantive experience over a longer period of time. So. I got interested in the Doris Duke Fellowship and um, I noticed that Duke had one um, with seemingly great mentors and in great places, so I decided to apply for it. I know I like medicine, I know I like um, you know, working internationally and obviously sort of clinical research would be a great way to put that together. My main priority for my fellowship year was mentorship um, and I really appreciated the mentorship that Dor Duke, Doris Duke was providing at Duke and the local institution, Moy University in Kenya, and particularly my mentor for this upcoming year, Dr. Gerald Bloomfield, who is a cardiologist, and that's the field that I'm interested in doing in the future. So we will be looking at household air pollution and the effect that it has on cardiac structure and function in Kenyan women. So often these women work in these small huts um, that are poorly ventilated and they're working with these inefficient fuel stoves. And lots of people have looked at the effect of household air pollution on lung function, but very few people have ever looked at cardiac function. So I'm really interested in infectious disease and one of my potential projects will be looking at drug resistance um, in the prevention of mother to child transmission of HIV in Moshe, Tanzania. And the other potential project in a collaboration with Kilimanjaro Christian Medical Center would be with Elizabeth Reddy and that would be looking at bacterial zoonoses in the Kilimanjaro region. Um, bacterial zoonoses are diseases that are transmitted from animals to humans and this is a big problem in rural areas of Tanzania where a lot of people are engaged in farming practices. So Dr. Ramirez's work is looking at how to best package incentives to peripheral health units in rural Kenya so improve the quality of malaria care, which is a really big problem. And my part of the project would be helping her with that, but also sort of looking at secondary goals, which are, you know, do these incentives then have negative impacts on other areas of care? This is something that I've wanted to do since my first year of med school. Um, I've always sort of, you know, knew I wanted to take a year out to do research abroad. And so the idea that I'm finally getting to do it is really exciting to me. I'm looking forward to spending this year um, dedicated to learning how to become a global health researcher so that I can continue contributing to the field in the future and I think this year will be foundational for that. I'm really thrilled to be in the inaugural class of Doris Duke Fellows. Um, it's an incredible opportunity and I'm absolutely flattered to get to work um, with the global health faculty that Duke has established in other countries. This is something that I've been wanting to do for a really long time and I can't wait to get started.